myself TV fans, welcome to another episode of What Dave Says. Today I want to talk about why Orlando Pirates have made a bit of a mistake by letting uh, Dane Clayton and Klo Sechalela go. I just don't un really understand the logic behind it. I mean, letting Sechalela go is pro possibly the most ridiculous. I mean, he's a player that uh, was part and parcel of the Pirates side that went all the way to the CAF Champions League final. Um, he won a treble, I mean, he's, he, was, he, he helped the side reach four cup finals and yet he just wasn't used at all this season. Uh, he's a real weapon. Dane Clayton is also more of a direct winger, he goes wide left and he looks to get those crosses in. He was also the leading assist maker for Pirates in the first half of the season. Now you've lost them both immediately, doesn't make any sense, especially when you're trying to finish the season well, at least win a cup competition and possibly finish uh, third in the table. But there's, there's two potent wingers there. Yes, you can argue Clayton is 29 and already approaching uh, the end of his better days, but then Sekulele is only 26. We, we, can, we know Sekulele can deliver, we know Sox can deliver if you give him a chance, uh, you let him play his natural game, even if you use him as an impact player. But uh, Pirates, for some reason, with both coaches, with Tinkler and uh, Vermizovic, they decided not to really use him. So I think that uh, overall Bucks have made a big mistake by letting them two go. They've left themselves short in those wing departments and uh, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because you might as well have got full value for them for the last six months of the season and then uh, decided from there on uh, what your options are going forward. That's why I say Bucks made a big mistake by letting Klose Kalela and Dan Clayt go. That's what Dave says, what do you say?